hello guys uh, my name is Edison welcome to today's tutorial and uh, we're going to do a very uh, simple project and uh, what we shall be using or what I'm demonstrating today is the uh, how you can interface analog sensors uh, with uh, STM32 nuclear board and we shall have a very simple project and this is how we shall configure our project we shall be using a potentiometer and uh, this potentiometer the signal is uh, fed to a zero one side of the potentiometer is fed to 3.3 .3 volts and the other one is grounded so we are going to vary this value from zero to 3.3 .3. Uh, one thing I'll tell you about uh, the ADC, uh, it has a uh, uh, 12 bit. So when you do 12, 2 to power 12, you get 40, 96. So the maximum, since it runs from 0 to 40, 95. And um, uh, we shall vary this voltage and at 3.3 .3 volts uh, we shall have uh, 4095 and at 0 volts we have 0 volts and we shall also remap this value so that it can read at the appropriate voltage so we go back to stm 2 cube and uh, we write our code we shall create a new stm 2 project And uh, we shall select a board that you'll be using. So I'm using Nucleo F446RE. Click next. And uh, we shall give it uh, the name ADC Potential. A tutorial since you'll be using a potentiometer tutorial and click finish so you can also initialize the mode and uh, we shall be using our use at uh, our UART communication so that we can uh, uh, see the values from the serial monitor so we shall also be revisiting the previous uh, tutorials so there we are so uh, to configure our usat uh, communication you go to connectivity we have the usat 2 which is uh, already configured for us but we can also set some uh, change uh, some parameter settings we shall come here and set the boundary to minute 600 600 bits per second then from there we go to uh, configure our ADC you go to analog and uh, we shall be using the first one input 0 and you can see that our uh, pin P0 has been activated for uh, ADC so then from there we generate the code to generating our code this is our project here ADC potential tutorial so you go to call uh, source and open the main and uh, we go to uh, the main we go and uh, write our code so we shall have our includes that is include hash include uh, s tdio dot h this is the input and output and we shall also have hash include uh, standard library standard library dot h again we shall be uh, using two of, uh, variables the first variable is the double uh, double uh, row value row value 
and uh, the second one is character voltage and uh, this will hold 20 elements for us we can also initialize this uh, to something blank and then from there we can also have another value output uh, which is also double double uh, you can also use read uh, red voltage so we are done with our variables then we go to our main function so our main function is here go to the while loop and we write our code and the first thing that you're supposed to do is uh, initial uh, the start starting the ADC so we shall start our ADC uh, ADC start and we are using ADC1 then we are going to convert the values of the red values in the ADC so uh, ADC pull for conversion pull ADC pull for conversion then you are using ADC1 and timeout uh, you can use 100 then from there we are going to uh, now get a uh, value from the ADC uh, pretty fair so we are going to have the row value uh, equal to we cast this value to double and we are getting the ADC hell ADC get get value so we are getting from ADC ADC one so ADC one then from there you can uh, what you will do is uh, cast this one into the buffer sp using sprinter function so we want to cast it to voltage and the data type that you're handling here is the float and uh, the value that we want to cast is the row uh, value so that's it so again uh, we want to convert that value to read uh, the voltage that is input so that is where now you have the read the red the red voltage will be equal to uh, remember 3.3 .3 volts is equals to 4095 so if we want to change the 4095 to 3 volts what we shall be doing is having the row value then you multiply by uh, uh, 3.3 3 over 40.95 so from there you can also uh, transmit uh, you can also cast this one to, to the buffer so sprintf the you also have to put it in the voltage buffer and the type that you are handling here is a float 
and this time around we are casting uh, the read 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 the red voltage voltage and then we are going now to transmit this to to our yard so we can do this by how you add transmit I'm going to transmit using our you add to and the pointer data we're going to use this is the pointer you int 8 t and the first value we are going to have the first value we are going to have is the uh, they are going to send the buffer here voltage so and the size we have the size of voltage and then the time out we can give it maximum time so uh, max delay and then you notice that when we if we do this we shall be only uh, transmitting the current value of the buffer that is held by the voltage so you want us to print the first the, the row value we shall have to include another uh, you add transmit so you transmit to use add to and please you int 8 t then voltage then uh, the size going to use size of um, voltage and then the timeout can also give it a uh, max delay and then the first part you're going to do is uh, have a delay so that we can be able to visualize this uh, delay you can delay for you can delay or you can transmit after every one second so we are going also to edit this you can see that uh, the first time we have the row row equals and then red equals and then we add we write justify that and then we print a new line then remove that then you come back here to remove these two floating point uh, spot is not enabled Click project properties we go to C, C or C++ build setting tool setting and check these two guys here and then you do your project to see whether we have any errors that we should check
so we have zero errors and zero warning so we now flash our code to our stm that's two nuclear board click ok and then click resume we go to our teratum and we for reason to that zero port you can see that the row value is 40 90 and 495 is equals to 3.3 volts so when we vary this uh, you'll see that the values are changing so at 2401 we have 1.93 you can verify that using a calculator and thank you guys for listening to me oh, uh, don't forget to subscribe like or share with your friends and uh, this is very interesting and uh, I hope I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.